Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly reading for June 4th through June 10th. Generally my readings are love readings, we will see whatever comes up. I'm going to get two of these oracle cards, one from this deck and one from this deck. If one flips out while, we'll shuff while we are shuffling, you will get to see it now. If not, we will reveal it at the end. This is for the sign of Gemini for the first week of June, I would call it, because it's the first full week. If you have an Apple iPhone, you'd like an Instago reading, um, feel free to uh, go there and check that out. This is for the sign of Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? Generally, my readings are love readings, so I just call them love readings. That's what I focus on. This is for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know for the first week of June? What do they have coming in for the first week of June? Oh, investing. You're investing in something. Patience is needed. Okay, pay, be objective about this situation, whatever it is. You're dealing with something and you're being called to be objective about it, okay? Be open to the other person's reality, okay? You are investing in something and waiting for it to pay off. And it feels like you, you are... Um, you're moving forward in, in the right direction very, very quickly. Whatever this is that you've invested in, you are going to have victory and success here, okay? It feels like you guys are really taking the lead in your own life. You're right in your own element this week. You are. It feels as though there is a, you know, there's no, you're seeing the light. It's a very, it's a week where you are, clear on your thoughts okay it's a week of clarity per se it's like you're you know there's no confusion okay there is no confusion you are clearly seeing things as they are okay that's the way it is Ooh, there's an obsession here yikes Hmm. So, let's see. Let me get the rest of these cards here. Somebody is holding on to something. Okay. Resisting. Resisting letting go. Resisting letting go. You've moved on. You've released. I think that, you know, you are coming out of a period of Depression. You're not there anymore. You're not. You're feeling good about things. And it feels as though there's something going on. There's something going on behind the scenes. There is. Something is not all as it seems. Something's not as it seems. And it feels as though there's a mystery here that you know something's a mystery. Put it that way. You know something is up. Interesting. What the hell is this? Ah, there you are. Okay, you know something is up. Looks pretty good. Had to make sure it was zoomed in. You guys have choices, okay? You have to make a decision. There's also illusions here. Somebody has been feeding you or you're feeling like... You're feeling like there's a mystery. Like I said, illusions. There is, there, there is. There's... There's some sort of mystery and illusion here. And you know what you know that there is. Okay, you know that something is up. That's where your clarity is. I don't think you know exactly what it is, but I feel like you're you think that somebody is up to no good. Okay? You're thinking that somebody is up to no good. 
it feels like there this is the two of wands that you're at a crossroads in your life you have to make a decision whether to move forward with somebody or not okay that's there is a decision here you have to make a decision do you continue to move forward at, on the path that you're on where you're happy because I see happiness here you're you've moved on you're doing quite well do you continue to move forward or do you go backwards okay because that's what the two of wands is whoever this person is in your life that has hurt you you're dealing with somebody that has hurt you they brought a lot of confusion and secrecy to your life okay they did but they haven't let you go yet and i think that you have to make the decision whether to continue to invest in the future or invest in the past so interesting interesting so you guys are forced with a decision this week you do have to make a decision you have to make a choice there's absolutely no doubt you have to make a choice on which direction you are going to invest in, okay? Um, you really need to look at things from both, both perspectives, okay? Not only yours, but the other person's. If there's two other people involved, both of those people, I feel like you guys have gained a lot of momentum in... A new direction and you feel you're feeling really good but there's still a feeling of undecisiveness here is this the right path for me am I am I on the right path is this the right decision have I made the right decision am I in this situation just because it's stable or is it love because I feel like you know, that seven of cups to me is always love or money. Are you making, are you in the right situation for love or you're in the situation for financial stability or whatever? I mean, that could certainly be the case here. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you guys are mentally conflicted. You're mentally conflicted over a situation. It's like you, you don't know. You, you're, you're going through some mental turmoil about this forward movement. Yes, it's good, it's great that you're moving forward, but it's still a little uncomfortable. And I think you are definitely in an uncomfortable period right now. You're uncomfortable feeling like, what if this isn't true? What if this is all false? What if it's, this doesn't lead to anything strong and solid? But it feels like you guys still have confidence. You have confidence in this new connection per se i feel like there is something you are connected to somebody and there's a lot of confidence there's mutual respect but you're feeling like upheaval is on the horizon because we have the tower card it feels as though you could be dealing with somebody who's angry um abusive okay this is abusive. This could be you. I'm not sure. But the King of Swords in reverse, that's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It, it could be you. You could be feeling like, I mean, this is abuse in reverse. Could be mental, could be verbal, could be physical, whatever. This person is mean-spirited and kind of like a bully. So you could be dealing with somebody who is bullying you to go down to stay with them okay because that's over here in the past it feels like you you could be dealing with maybe even an ex I'm, I'm just saying because the king or queen of swords in reverse can be an ex you could be dealing with somebody who's trying to confuse you with bullshit to get you to go down go with them okay that could certainly be the case um but it's it's ended in disaster already so Whatever this is, there's an opportunity for upheaval this week with another person who is is only harming you. You're dealing with somebody who is only harming you. And I think it is somebody from your past. I really do. I feel like you have become successful. You are, you've moved forward. You're, you're happy. And somebody comes back around to confuse you. It looks like there's some confusion headed your way, okay? And, you know, it's going to cause some mental turmoil, some mental conflict for you, and you're going to have to make a decision, you know, and choose wisely. This is a card of consequences. You're going to have to choose wisely. Which one has something ended in disaster before? Because the tower card is upheaval, it's downfall, it's disaster. I think that you have released 
a false foundation. You've released a false commitment. You have. You've released a an illusion per se. You know, you released it. You have. This is the release. You've shut that door. And now this person seems to be coming back around to cause problems. So just keep that in mind. You know, I feel like you guys have moved on to a, a better place. Okay, that chariot card is headed in the right direction. Moving very quickly out of a difficult situation is what I can see. But now there's somebody that is coming back to stir up old feelings and cause confusion and um, chaos. And I think it's because they're bitter, they're angry, they're upset that you've moved on. Yeah, they're not happy. Nine of Cups reversed. There's no wish fulfillment there. There's no happiness. Somebody's ego has been hurt because you moved on. That's what this is. And so, therefore, they're probably coming right back around to cause a guilt trip, you know, to, to guilt you into hopefully coming back to them. So, I don't know what the hell this is, but that's what it looks like to me. There's no wish fulfillment here with this person from the past. So, just keep that in mind. Last time it ended in disaster, and this time it's going to end in disaster with that tower card. There's no wish fulfillment. It, it will continue to end, end in disaster. You're dealing with somebody who is mean-spirited. And they don't want you to go through this new door. They don't want you to go, go down this new path, which you are headed down very, very quickly. You have. You have, head, you have stepped outside of your comfort zone, and you're headed down a new path, and you are dealing with somebody who isn't happy about it. Their pride and their ego has been hurt because you rejected them. And now they probably are going to guilt trip you as much as possible to get you to change your mind. That's what it looks like to me. So my advice for you this week is to continue to hold your head up high. Keep moving forward. Think think long and hard about what you're investing in about the choices that you make because there will be consequences for the decisions that you make okay if someone ended in disaster in the past the chances of ending in disaster in the future are very very good okay I think that you have um, you have a new door opening or a new door has opened and you are being called to go through that doorway with this two of wands but there is somebody in the mix that is trying to confuse you and talk you out of it don't let them codependency this person that you're dealing with is codependent i think you're dealing with two people by the way i do i think that you have an option between two people and one of them doesn't want to be alone and whatever codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life however that resonates with you love endures love does not give up or lose faith love is hopeful and withstands every situation so this person from the past that is trying to guilt trip you. Where are they now? Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. There's an opportunity for a soulmate connection here. That's what I see. But you have a choice. You have a choice between two people. That's what I, I think. Okay? I feel like you have come out of a dark period. You have. And somebody is hasn't let go. Okay? They're still holding on with this four of pentacles. They're still holding on to you. They see that you've moved on. They see that you're you're being successful in your whatever it is you're in your future you're you're headed towards success you're you're doing good they see it and they're here to fuck that up so keep that in mind okay i feel like 
There is an opportunity for victory and success. I'm going to get another card for this love endures. Eight of Wands reversed. There's been no communication, no forward movement. Somebody doesn't want to grow old alone. Your the thing is, is I think there's somebody from your past that is doesn't is very codependent. They don't want to grow old alone. They can't find anybody else. I think this love endures is for your new opportunity, not this person from the past that is codependent and can't find anybody else. Love endures hardships. Love doesn't cheat. Love doesn't walk away. Love doesn't not answer the phone. Love communicates and it feels as though you were dealing with somebody that did not communicate. They bullied you, they blackmailed you emotionally, or bullied you. They caused a lot of mental turmoil in your life. You moved on. You're doing good. You're investing elsewhere. And now they're here to profess their love that was never really enduring because they did all that shit. They didn't put in the effort. And I feel like you have somebody else. I do. So Gemini, it really feels like you, either you or somebody else is going through some sort of midlife crisis. And you have to make a difficult decision to move forward with this new person or go backwards. Now, keep in mind, this can go vice versa. This could be for you. This could be for your partner. Somebody in your life that's very close. Somebody is coming in to mess up your current relationship. Okay? Whether it is, you know, with your partner, you know, somebody's coming after them or they're coming after you. Somebody is coming in to profess their, their love but it seems like it's, it's an addiction you know it's addiction it's about being alone I don't want to be alone beware beware okay I see victory and success for you I do keep that in mind good luck